Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. It's time for another uh, another run around uh, Los Santos here in uh, here in the wonderful world of GTA 5. Now we're playing the um, our latest checkpoint map again. So what, as usual, I have to try and get through all of the checkpoints, um, and the hunters have to try and stop me. Uh, so at the moment, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to make my plans at the moment. Now let's see where am I? I'm somewhere up north of which. Which bridge is this? Oh, there's five ways down there. Okay, so that's that's possible actually. This looks like quite a good way to attack it. So my first checkpoint is just over. It's over on the other side of the highway. I'm gonna try and take it in a slightly less um, flamboyant way than I did last time because I think that was it was a fun way to do it, but I don't want to um, overdo. I don't overdo that trick. I mean, even though they have no idea what it was, I've told them I used a, I used a cunning trick, so they'll be expecting me to do something like that again. So I'm gonna try and be a bit less. Um, yeah, a bit less flamboyant, as it were. But if I head over, let's see. So if I head over this bridge, and I've dro I did drop to fifth place, which is last, so I am allowed to take this checkpoint. If I go over this bridge, and then turn left and right, and that'll drop me right on top of the checkpoint. I may change my mind about that if I see hunters down the sort of the main road, the first road where I was going to turn left. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we shall see. Uh, at the moment, I'm playing a little bit by ear. So as I'm saying, they have to uh, try and stop me. They, um, they, they, they can do that by uh, ramming my car off the road, then getting out and shooting. They're not allowed to shoot from inside their cars, but once I've got out, they can use any bullet weapons they like. That's absolutely fine. Um, as I say, the that's a, that banshee's driving weirdly. <laughs> I guess the um, if, if you if you if you have sports cars in the game, then you'd expect them to occasionally drive slightly crazily. I don't know. Where's the truck? I'm wondering a little bit about the traffic lights here. I'm. It, is it those ones over there? I think it must be. But this is rather funny. I don't know. Funny junction. Anyway, sir, I'm, I'm getting. Get, I'm, I'm uh, jumping around between topics a little bit. I'm. I'm just going to go actually because I'm getting bored and impatient. So I'm limited to. And basically, I can drive anything I want that isn't a sports or a supercar. Um, the hunters are stuck in their coupes that they spawn in, in. Although they are allowed to um, respawn them and replace them when they when they're near a checkpoint, if they want to, because they've got beaten beaten up too much by their through sort of bad driving or or aggressive chasing. Um, and we find that those are a good balance of cars. It, it uh, keeps it keeps the game interesting because nobody's too fast, and all the cars are reasonably similar power and spec. So I said I was going to turn left and then right here. So left, left currently looks. Is there, there isn't even there isn't an arrow painted. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Left looks pretty. Oh no, I can see. Is that? There's an orange car over there, but I don't think that can be Mike because it's not moving enough. He might be trying to be sneaky, or it might just be. I think it's probably just an AI vehicle though. I don't know. Oh no, there's Mike. That 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 much louder orange is definitely him. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that mystery solved, at least. Now, let's see what he does when he comes back. He's investigating that car. I'm just going to go straight past and hope he doesn't... Okay, he's following me. In that case, I'm just going to go for the checkpoint. And there's a, a purple car as well. Ooh. He's pointing He's pointing the wrong way, which is a good sign. <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can get away from them. So we have, um, we have four hunters chasing me today. Uh, of which one of them is right behind me. Oh, one of them is right in front of me. And another one is no doubt coming up from the from over here. No, I don't see him. Okay, let's get this way. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now I've got three of them actually behind me. That's not the ideal place to have them, but I'm in. I'm actually in quite a good car. Um, so I think I'm going to try the putting my foot down and seeing what happens. I don't expect to get away from them because I'm pretty sure that Tristan's car, the purple one, is the fastest of the coupes. So I think trying to turn a corner would be... Ow, blimey, good idea. Help. <laughs> oh. I was completely wedged in there. There was no... That was, oh, that was an impressive wedging. I'm very impressed. <laughs>
which as the thing is that's actually quite a wide area he could be he could yeah. be about to take it or he could be miles out he's not super close to it because i've no, literally can't. got it within 20 no, meters he, of me he could be southwest of it and that's the sensible yeah. way to approach it from because you see well, him far away but then suddenly you take it who are you? Well, then again, I Grey yeah. card. Just I literally just saw that. Yep. Yep, Which way is he heading? He's heading east, I think I east. see him. East. East. Yep. East square squares. That's the one. That one. <laughs> that one there. <laughs> is he still on a straight line? He knows uh, he's double back, he's going west now. North. north. Past Red Car Park. Ah. Towards Arcadius. He's heading towards the shop. Dog leg. Damn it, the boats are fast. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> Just overtook me with ease. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's getting very good in a straight line. Stun it. So you He's in a tree. Down. Oh, that wasn't helpful at all. <laughs> he is down. For fuck's sake, he's just running me over. Not bad. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new fantastic a a agent, <laughs> fantastic episode of GTA 5, where we are going to be trying to escape these load of idiots, basically. Now, this is a new map by one of our members. Um, I. Uh, I am generally terrible with directions. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I need to swap my car and I need to get into last place. Now, I have both my maps up. I have a, a three a triple screen setup, so I'm kind of like looking to my left, looking to my right. I am bound to kill myself in the process. But anyhow, yes, the first priorities. Um, now, I'm not allowed to choose any sports or supercars. Um, they're not allowed to actually swap out their hunt cars. And I need to reach sixth position to take the next checkpoint. Uh, the next checkpoint being somewhere over there. I do have a 2D map up at the moment, uh, which I'm going to be trying to cross-reference with another map I have with all the milestones for some reason. And yes, finish the race without dying. Hello, muscle car. You look fun. I'm going to have you. Nope, you will not run away. You will help me. I like your big red stripe. Thank you. Right, okay, so uh, let's have a look at this map now. <laughs> it looks like the hunters are shooting each other, which is nice. Uh, and now I'm going to calm, I'm going to slow my roll a little. Just in case they do decide to rush out here. I mean, I am first of six, which means I am the closest to the checkpoint, which is a bit of a problem. I need to get further away. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do something risky. I'm actually going to boot it, because I don't think seems I'm the first one to run this map, but there is no established pattern, there's no you know, best ways, worst ways, or anything else. So I'm just going to shoot here, and now I'm in 6th place, which means I can start my assault on the fort. Wait, hold on, wrong game. Uh, that means I can start my approach to the checkpoint. Um, I am in, uh, the, apparently I'm near checkpoint 6 actually, but I need to go very, very south, like very south, which is down here. I have a couple of options. I also need to disable my map, which I should have done before turning this off. Whoops. Um, display. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, no one noticed. It doesn't really matter anyway, because I, I didn't say I didn't have any benefit from that at all. Um, that's another thing with this. Uh, we all of us have maps, maps disabled, except those of us that completely forgot. <laughs> I only enabled it because I was playing ground in uh, a B11 Strike Force earlier. I wanted to see where people were so I could bomb them. Uh, just for friendly reasons, really. <laughs> but yes, um, no one has maps enabled. The, the hunters have maps, no maps enabled. I have no map enabled. Which means that I have the opportunity of blending in with the traffic. Now, I'm still sixth, and I believe I'm close to movie studio, am I? I'm trying to figure out where I am. Um, now, I've got two options. Um, the checkpoints look relatively close together. There, there's two options. I can I can go for an easy option or a difficult to get to option. Now, all the hunters must be very near that checkpoint because I'm getting closer to it. I know that. I'm in the right part of the town. I'm pretty sure it's over there somewhere. If I get 
two lost, I will press B, which will give me a random, you know, direction where I'm going, which is going to be helpful. I'm terrible with maps in the first place, and basically this is a new map, so no one's run it, so no one's got any ideas. In fact, I'm going to, I'm just going to quick peek. Okay, so it's over there. Right. That's all I need. Just a general direction. It, that's another thing that's kind of discouraged. We don't like people pressing B to look at the checkpoint things, um, but some of the players are really terrible with the actual city layout, even if they have got an actual map up. That looked very non-AI. Um, I'm going to pull up next to it. Which is bonkers. <laughs> if that is a hunter. Oh god, that was going to be funny in the video playback. Uh, now, uh, okay, I've just crossed a big bridge and apparently down here there's two there's one on the left and there's one on the right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to knock over here across two lanes which is totally illegal in well I think that's totally illegal and have a look around see if I can spot where this thing is Um, I'm gonna guess it's down there I think it's in the okay let's, ha let's, let's have a little wander around we don't want to be hanging around too much we would just want to be a little lone GT going for a nice, quiet, peaceful drive. And okay, there is the awkward one. That's the one that's up on the ramp. So I was right. I did have to tap B, sorry. But, you know, these are aerial checkpoints. There's not much chance I'm going to see them without having some idea where they are. So I will take the right, like so, very badly. That is a purple car. That's a concern. I'm going to go for it anyway because I think I can outpace him. That's the wrong way. That is very the wrong way. That is very the wrong way and they don't appear to have followed me. Which is a curious choice. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, I am going to take the entrance that you've just came out of. And go over here. And pray. Okay, there's nothing behind me. I'm in a relatively fast car. I'm in a muscle car. I've got some boot. So I am just going to go down the bottom of this road very quickly. I don't really have much of the plan. Okay. We'll avoid you. Okay. And we'll loop back around. See, now they will be discussing where I just was. I am just going to look behind me. There is nothing following me, I don't think. So, I am good for another approach. Very quietly, I should really swap my car. But the problem is, this is a very good car. Now, they might expect me to have changed cars, which would be very nice. Apparently, the checkpoint's over there somewhere. Um, so, I might have half a chance. See, there is another thing I could do here. I could rush this checkpoint. Try and throw them into chaos. Okay, someone's following me. And I know they're following me because it just prompted me. So we're going to do the violent method. That's right, the violent method. This is where all driving skill goes out the window. And we boot it as fast as we can. And hope that we can do some awesome turning. And we can do some awesome turning. Haha! <laughs> I'm too sleepy. <laughs> They're gonna be uh, in an all sorts. Of... No, 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 I can't move. This is bad. Yeah, run, 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 run. We're going back down very quickly. They'll be coming up though, which is a problem. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna surprise him. Ah, God, I was hoping not to hit you on the nose. Can I, can I, bugger off. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to use weapons. That's it, 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 that's it. That's impossible, there is no way. <laughs> Let's 
checkpoint. I can't actually see it. It's just it's west of the highway. That's um, but west the, of the dis Harbor. distance measured is from Red Car Park. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw a banshee go into the car park. No, that can't be him. Shouldn't be in a banshee. But uh, he might have made a mistake. Just, let's be honest. We've all made mistakes, and, and does Paul remember the no spots in Super Bowl? He talked about it in his last video. But that doesn't mean he remembers it now. No. Uh, he he will be a uh, in first by now, I think. Also, I'm going to find first, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, that's me. Okay. I've got six. Um, and I'm fifth. From Red Car Park. I'm fourth. I've just got fifth. Again. South side of Red Car Park. Massive frame loss. Someone first. Yes, there is someone here. Uh, there is a, uh, a bunchy, a white bunchy coming up. Where about? Going up red red car park. Yeah. And I, I I'm trying to kill him actually. Is it driving like a player? Yes, definitely. Is he going for the jump? Yes, but That's off this way. Uh, I've scared him off. He is going down now. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, is any, are you are you still south, Mike? I'm six. Right here. Are you south? Are you of red car. We're south. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going north. To I'm shooting third floor. I'm getting out with a gun ready. So. Yes. Make it quick. Oh. Oh, he's shooting at me. I think he is. I'm not sure that's encouraged. No. Okay. I've turned this car over. <laughs> Savage. Really. Do you know what floor you're on? Third. Okay, cool. I know there's two ramps in this place, isn't there? Yeah, oh, I'm going up to the north ramp. It's alright, we've got him. I say okay. we, Pete's got him. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA Manhunt, Manhunt Checkpoint. And I'm going to try and take the sneaky route for the first checkpoint again, once again. Because uh, it worked very well the first time, and uh, not being sneaky the second time didn't work at all. <laughs> so, as always, it's me versus the hunters. I'm trying to go around, take all the checkpoints around the map, and the hunters are trying to stop me. Um, now we've got the, the two-parter checkpoints on this route. Um, that means that there's one up there on the top of Red Car Park, which I'm not expecting to take, and that's the primary. And then there's a secondary, which is just off to the right down here. And conveniently, there's a gap in the wall there that I can drive through. Let's try and see if there's anyone down there first. Let's try and be really, really sneaky about it this time. Okay, I don't see any hunters down there. So I know I'm just going to go off here. Get through the checkpoint. And be gone. Simples. And I think I got away with it again. So yeah, that is the best way to take them. Now, if, there's, if there was a hunter lurking around the actual secondary checkpoint, then there's, there's no way that that would work. Um... It only works if, if, they're, if they're not looking, and if I can just manage to sneak up there along the along the highway there and drop down on it. <laughs> but when it works, it works absolutely fantastically. So now I need to um, wait for that. Wait for my position to drop to fifth again, to so that I can. Um, I'm allowed, so that I'm allowed to take the next checkpoint, and then I can head back out round and try and work out some sort of clever way of taking the next checkpoint. Now the second one, I didn't do anything particularly clever last time. I just dropped in there and and grabbed it. Um, I just drove, drove, drove through it in, 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 in a sort of a normal way, I think. Oh wait, no, no I didn't. No, no, sec second one I was I was sort of cunning and awkward about. <laughs> um, don't you shout abuse at me, I'm, I am stopped at a red light. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, the second one. Now, I'm not sure, so each, each of the checkpoints, as, as I was saying, has the primary in, a, in an awkward place, usually over a jump or up on top of a car park or something like that to make it difficult to take. Um, and to sort of, it's meant to be a little bit of a discouragement, but, it, but I'm allowed to take them if I want to. Then they have their primary one that's um, down in a more sensible place uh, on, on, a, on a junction in the road. And those are the ones that I'm expected to try to drive through um, and probably, and, and often will. 
Um, and the reason we're doing that is to make it a little bit trickier for the hunters because they they were doing a bit too well in the past. It was they, perhaps the game was a bit too easy, a bit too unbalanced in their favour, uh, because they, basically because they kept winning. That's how we work that one out. Um, so in order to make it a little bit more, that's a hunter. He's turning around. I'm going. Um, in order to make it a little bit harder, we've got this sort of thing where the the prey doesn't actually have to drive through this, the centre of where the position indicator points to. And the idea of that is that it, yeah, there we go. There's the one up on top. Is that on top of the building? That is on top of the building site. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't even know how you get up there. I think he knows it's me. I'm pretty sure he knows it's me. Now, I didn't wait until I was absolutely certain he knew it was me, because that's when he would call for reinforcements. And I'd be sitting there going, la la la, I don't think he's worked out it's me. He's just sitting there trying to, I don't know, enjoying the sights or something. Um, while, oh dear. There's too many hunters. I can't drive in a different direction to the hunters because they're all everywhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, so there's this, always this risk of the, um, of the hunters, if you, if, you, if, you, if you see a hunter, you, you, the obvious thing to do at first, at least, is to try and hide from them and hope they don't see you. And that feels like it makes sense, and and you can, and you can generally try, and you can sort of try and try and hide, and, and and just hope for the best. And sometimes it works. Sometimes they haven't recognised you, um, and they will, and they will actually just go away and leave you alone. But off, alarmingly often, what it turns out that they have recognised you. And um, they're just standing, they're just sitting around trying to be, trying to pretend that they haven't while they wait for their friends to turn up and um, and make things difficult for you. So, <laughs> so it's, it's a bit of a sort of a, a it's, it's, it's a tricky decision on how how cautious to be, whether you want to be sort of like a jackrabbit and run at the first sign of a hunter, or whether you actually want to wait a little bit until you're, until you're sure they've recognised you, or always somewhere in, somewhere in between. Um... Um, I'm not driving very well at the moment. Maybe I'm talking too much. But you have to, yeah, you have to, you have to find that sort of that happy balance between um, between not not fleeing when you don't need to and giving yourself away, and not sitting around for too long and being really obvious so that the hunters then know exactly where you are and they can bring in their reinforcements. And at that point, oh, it's cars in the car park. That never happens. Um, or they bring in their reinforcements and suddenly it's you versus half a dozen hunters and that's obviously much much harder oh that was a bad jump that was a bad landing let's try going the other way from here <laughs> oh ooh, there goes pink <laughs> nice nice, air, nice shot from airborne there now i was going to say that that that's probably um paul because he usually drives the pink car but i know in the last run at least there were some um there were some car swapping shenanigans going on i think they um the hunters exchanged cars at the beginning in an attempt to confuse me. And um, I mean, to be honest, the hunt, the, the chase didn't go on very long because I, I had a, a, a rather poor crash and um, it, it th 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 threw me off. But uh, it's a nice idea. I, I, I mean, I, I like I like the sort of the the wild card of the of the um, of people not being of the, if the cars not being the one you expect. There's there's an orange blink mobile. That must be Mike because it's a blink. No, don't take me into the subway jeez <laughs> okay mike is now actually on my tail that's unfortunate now one of my favorite escape routes is up this ramp here because if you go up here depending on exactly how you come off there oh that was unfortunate i think that probably counts as a loss but it's the first time it's happened that was a shame i was doing quite well <laughs> or at least it was going quite well <laughs>
stuck in Rockford Hills. I wanted that. <laughs> right, I've gone fifth at Colourful Car Park. I'm at five ways. Jumping past him and Pete. Currently fourth. We're right, heading back in, still oh, fifth God. at Chinese Monument. Mm. So he is making his way uh, closer now. Could you second, I think I'm west of um, Red Car Park. I've got him, he's down by Chinese Monument. Um, white car, like a white sedan. Uh, he's heading north up towards um, Ghetto. North towards Ghetto from Chinese Monument. Yeah, oh. that was it. No, towards Rockford Hills. Yeah, he's taking a right down by towards the uh, construction up. site. Uh, taking another right towards Red Car Park, I believe. Passing Red Car Park, he's taking a left to go around it. I'm going to go through it just on a gamble. He's turning right. Damn it. There's going higher. Left hand side, so he's probably not going to take the jump. Turning left. There. He's the white car, right? Yep. Correct. Turning right by the uh, Penrith building. Then turning right south of there. Uh, by Square of Squares. West from the northwest corner of Square of Squares. Lower of the lower higher stuff and heading west towards Red Car Park. Hope turned right ahead of that. It's lurking there, head on as well. Uh, anyway, is this onto the highway? No, not quite. He's uh, not on the highway, he's took the right no. into... The he's back into the lower, of the lower higher stuff. Heading south. Turning right towards Red Car Park again. Ah. I've dropped back so I can't comment. He's going he's into the car there. park. Okay. I don't know if he's gone up or not, I can't see where he's No, going. he's come out. He wouldn't go up. He's gone straight out and straight across the car park. He's taken the jump. Uh, onto the highway. He's now going the... Following the traffic along the highway. So head back towards Red Car Park. On, but on the highway, that is. Uh, whatever is in his fast. He's stayed left, so not gone off the exit. Following that round to the left. Uh, he went lower onto the main highway. And he's doubling back again. And I crashed. I believe he stayed on the highway. Yes, he has. So we're heading towards Arcadius now on the highway. I am coming on by Arcadius, and my, I'm literally just in front of you guys. Fantastic. Uh, this white car here? Yep. Hard yes. 18. Heading back towards beach on the highway. Taking the exit. Exit. Uh, uh, going south on the main highway. He might have taken the jump, I didn't see. He did, yes. He did. Oh, he committed <laughs> So he'll have respawned back. Uh, he's dead. He's lost. Oh, does that? Oh, I didn't know. Yes, yeah, he lost again. <laughs> Did you see where he crashed? I'm, I'm not, not seeing a carcass. Loss. Yeah. Did you die? Yeah. Did, Did you have fun trying to run away from the pink car? <laughs> uh, it was going okay. I mean, I was. Um, <laughs> It was, it was, it was no, it was, I don't know, there were, there were cars behind me, I was trying to get away from them. I, I noticed an orange one in a few unexpected places. That, uh, that, uh, Thank you. 